as much as I hate to say it, I took some photos 40 years ago. And we're gonna go back to the scene of the crime. Hey, thanks so much for joining me again. It's really good to see you. So 40 years ago, I took some pictures and I was digging through my old photographs and scanning them in and I realized on the back of these photos that I had the date March 1978. Oh man, I feel so old. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to go back and recreate those photos 40 years later? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a motorcycle ride down into Charleston and go visit the USS Yorktown. It's been there for, well, at least 40 years. The Yorktown got here in 1975, so it's been here a while. Now, 40 years ago, this was all pretty much just marsh. There wasn't really much here, if I recall correctly, and the ship was in the middle of nowhere. When I was here, there was nothing on the deck except, I think, one helicopter and, and an airplane. There was nothing in the lower deck. That was just empty hallway. And quite honestly, it was kind of boring at the time.
But it's grown up quite a bit and it's, it's a pretty good time. Of course, they have the Vietnam experience that they put up over there with a lot of displays and things like that. You can also see behind me the Ravenel Bridge and a helicopter. And speaking of helicopters. So when I was here in 1978, I think I was shooting with 110 film. The other ships, the submarines, none of that stuff was here when I was here before. I'm not even sure that marina was here. It was really nothing. But it's a good time. If you ever get a chance to get down and visit Patriots Point in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. There's a lot more to see on the ship. I didn't take you through all of it. I wanted to take you in the engine room, but that particular part of the tour was closed off. I don't know if they've got water down there or what. It's sitting in a whole bunch of mud, so they're doing their best to keep it up, but it's, it's not easy for them, and I don't think they get a lot of funding. So by all means, go to the website and donate if you feel so inclined. It's a, it's a big piece of history. I'm gonna call that a vlog, and uh, we'll end it there. I'm gonna go back home and get something to eat because I'm hungry. If you like the video, give it a like, share it with somebody else who you think might like it. In case you haven't noticed, I did not bring my gimbal with me and I'm a little shaky. But um, subscribe to the channel, got a lot more stuff coming up and I don't want you to miss any of it and I will see you next time. Thanks.